presentation. Uh, so welcome everybody. This is the US time zone for the Cloud Native Computing Foundation's Harbor Community Meeting. Um, if there is uh, a few new individuals on the phone, if you wanna go ahead and unmute yourself and go ahead and we can uh, introduce yourself to the community here. Hey there, this is Bruce McCaffrey. So I'm from uh, Trend Micro. Uh, we've been involved in um, you know container security uh, for a while. We're actively developing prod products in that area, and uh, yeah, just really interested in you know hearing where the community is going and, and seeing if we can help out somewhere. Can you guys hear me? We sure can. Thank you again, Bruce. Appreciate you uh, joining in and, and kind of introducing yourself. It's good to hear kind of exactly what everybody's working on and, and so on and so forth. Yeah, for sure. No problem. Anybody else feel like speaking up? Uh, Got something in the chat there from uh, looks like Zach. Oh yeah, there. All right, so uh, Zach's no microphone, but interested in following development harbor. So, hi Zach, hi everybody. Uh, hey Nathan, welcome back. Hi Jonas, welcome back as well. Um, I'm just going to do a quick share. Uh, this was the, and, and I apologize for for being late here. Thank you, thank you all for uh, sticking around with me. Got to see my daughter get dropped off from school for the first time today. Um, so uh, this was uh, this was the same presentation that was done this morning. Um, I don't have any demos or anything kind of queued up, but I can run through anything if you have any other kind of questions as we go through here. So just to kind of give you an update on on what is being worked on, uh, we'll kind of look at 1.9, sort of what our story and, and feature progress is so far. A little bit of a community update. Um, and then we can look at uh, tag retention and quotas. Um, this was actually demoed last time uh, with inside the community. Um, so if you want to learn more about it, I can send you the video that I had queued up and we did uh, a demo and presentation last time. Um, there was uh, on the phone, on the, on the call this morning, there was a customer, which not a customer, but a user that came in and kind of talked about their experience on setting up a highly available Harbor instance uh, utilizing multiple Postgres and Redis and so on and so forth like that. Uh, and then if you have any questions at the end, we can talk. So we'll scream right through this. Uh, so right now, the, the quota per project is currently done, um, as well as tag retention. Uh, if you're un unfamiliar with what these are, this is giving you the ability to say, I want to limit um, a particular repository uh, to say five images or five items. Um, so that is um, inclusive of not only just images that are pushed to the repo, but as well as Helm charts. So that can then be pushed up into there. And so you can say, I want to limit to five, 10, 50, 5,000, whatever you want. Uh, at the same exact time, it can be not only limited in the instances, but also in the size. So you can put it um, by megabytes, gigabytes, or terabytes. So if you want to limit a particular repo to one terabyte in size or anything like that, that can be done as well. Uh, one of the interesting things that were demoed uh, last time and kind of showing this is that once an image is installed into a particular repository or a namespace, uh, any additional ones on top of that that utilize the same layers are not penalized for that space. Um, so it's kind of deduplicating that initial space or uh, usage of those layers uh, for anything else that could be potentially using it as well. Uh, the support for network proxy is currently in progress. Uh, webhook support is currently completed as well. So being able to uh, pull different webhooks for different um, uh, kind of CRUD operations uh, is what you can do now and be able to pull that into any sort of CI CD pipeline that you wish. Um, Whitelisting inside of CVEs is done as well. Uh, that was a demo that was done last time too. So you can kind of see exactly what it looks like to look at a critical vulnerability and making sure that it doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and we can whitelist that across repository or you can whitelist it across the entire, entire Harbor instance as well. 
Um, so pretty cool little feature to make sure that if you have a vulnerability that you feel safe with, that you can go ahead, you can whitelist it. Um, syslogging for log shipping is done as well. And then there is more performance and scalability uh, testing that's happening at the same exact time. Um, there is some testing that's happening utilizing P2P uh, distribution as well. So utilizing um, uh, Dragonfly uh, as well as Kraken uh, to make that happen. Um, there's uh, a few work groups that are being spun up. Um, one is around authentication. So if that's something that you're interested in, um, you can be a part of that. Um, and there is a, another one that's being spun up um, around replication and having other types of replication targets. So if you're interested in doing those, um, let me know and we can get you hooked into those particular work groups. Um, not gonna go through the feature demo, but if we want to, or if you would like to see it, I can give you a link to the recording from last time uh, and you can watch it at your leisure. Uh, as I mentioned, there is a, a user that had talked about their experience of creating a, a Harbor HA instance. Um, and then there was uh, some talk about um, some other large instances of Harbor being ran and some of the experience that some of the users had done uh, had faced uh, earlier on. Um, I will get the recording from this morning as well and, and give it to you all if, if it's requested too. Um, with that, that's all there really is, uh, unless there is any other topics that you would like to talk about or like to know about. As I mentioned, this one was gonna go pretty quick. And I will grab the link since I'm logged into Zoom real quick and get you all the recordings from this morning. Quentin, you mentioned in the chat that you're working on a Terraform provider for uh, Harbor. Um, I know that's that's something we would definitely be interested in looking into, uh, my company at least. So looking forward to that. Cool, thanks for the link. Yeah, that looks that looks really interesting. We'll have to take a look. Uh, there was also something that was interesting that um, I saw yesterday. I don't know if anybody else has seen it, um, but Datadog actually came out with, I'm gonna put it inside of the Harbor chat here as well. Uh, Datadog actually came out with a, an integration to monitor Harbor as well. So if that's something that you think is cool or interesting, you can go ahead and check that out. Uh, I am dropping in the link to uh, the, uh, the last bi-weekly where we had done some demos um, from, uh, from tag retention as well as quotas and CVE. So you can go ahead and you can check that out there. And then if you're interested in looking at some of the user stories from this morning's meeting, I'm gonna throw the other Zoom in here as well. Um, so you can check out that too. Any other questions? Uh, if not, this will wrap it up. Uh, just a, uh, a quick comment. So Quentin, the uh, uh, Terraform provider there, uh, please join us in the CNCF Slack so we can chat more about that. You can find that link over on uh, goharbor.io. Awesome, thanks. Yeah. Uh, let's see, I saw some pushes regarding global proxy configuration for all services. When can we expect a release? Um, I am not 100% sure Alex is the PM who's handling that. Um, I can't say for certain when 1.10 is going to be released. Uh, however, that is, currently on track, I believe, for getting close to KubeCon. Um, and so that, or sorry, 1.9 is getting close to KubeCon um, is what it's, what it's there. Um, and right now for 1.10, there is more um, sort of gathering to figure out exactly 
uh, what's happening for feature requests and feature inclusions for 1.10. Um, I'm going to put that in the, uh, there we go. And I'm going to put the project board in here as well. If I can get it, project board, there we go. So I'm going to put the project board in here. Um, and so this kind of gives you an idea of what's going to be looking into um, the next few releases uh, of what's kind of in flight um, and what's not. Um, some of the 1.10 inclusions have already been kind of stamped and that's what's going to be worked on next. Um, so if you're interested in 1.11, you can start upvoting or anything like that in there as well. Yep. So I can't give you any kind of idea about global proxy configuration because I'm not uh, initially involved with it, but hopefully I can, I'll try to take that back. Or if you want to, you can uh, try to ask that into the CNCF Harbor uh, Slack group. And hopefully one of the devs that is working on it can give you that answer too. All right, well, that'll wrap it up. Thank you all for joining. Thanks for, uh, for sticking around and see everybody in two weeks. Awesome, thank you.